All right, so here we are back at the junkyard. Got to get a uh, multifunction switch for the dog man. Looking for row seven. Let's see here, row seven. Here we go. Subaru, Subaru, Subaru. And, uh, that looks like the one. And it's fucking broken into pieces. Alright, on to row nine. Okay. Great. So I need a better tool system so bad. Oh, it's hot as fuck in here. Alright. And of course, the one tool I need, I don't think I brought. Where in the fuck? Is it that? You rotten bitch. Bag disconnected. Twenty. What is it? Well, sometimes even when you read the manual, you have to get out here and just figure it out. It's not going to make any damn sense on paper as well as it does in person. That obviously does not come off that way. I'm guessing it's just this guy. Don't do that on the new one. Looks like it's actually these guys. 
too hot. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Alright, now it said something about disconnecting the harness from underneath. Let's see if we can do that. text me when I'm busy. <sighs> Alright, so I think I got what we need. It's not very worn out, so... We'll see. Holy shit, look at that. You never know what you're gonna see at the junkyard. This thing is fucking fresh. Clean too. So we got all the parts we need and um, headed back to Dogman's to do the install. Now that I got everything we're needing and um, touch base once we're done with that. <laughs> That's all the delicate shit that they don't tell you about. Yeah. Yeah, see, those were stripped. Oh. Yeah, they were completely shattered. Uh, I still say some idiot trying to find a CD player failed miserably. <laughs> it's possible. Well, I found the instructions for it, but none of the parts. Yeah. Well, isn't that special? Oh, we should have nailed it on that today, too. Oh, well, we only had it. Oh, I understand that part. Uh, what the hell? Do those go to that? Oh, yeah, they're still in here. It's like we're in the fucker to fucking screws. Well, at least I wasn't here. I already did this. Yeah, we saw that. Wow. Is is that that kind of like uh, it's a it's a grabber thing? You screw up here and it kind of pulls yeah. it to you? Uh, uh, puller. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's not a it's not a wrench thing, huh? No. I thought these were. Yeah, see this one. Break that shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've never done it before, and I'm always afraid of the plastic because I'll tell you what, you're a little more forceful. You. Yeah. She well, that's what happened with that. Well, that's why. Little plastic piece. Just one thing after another. Yeah, right? <laughs> Screw it.
toys. They have all the little trinket things, huh? Oh good, she'll actually be able to use that way? Yeah, because the other one was shattered. Yeah. So. Ooh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd rather it be broken in than broken half yeah, out. The other true. day it was broken half that's out. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. And then... You got an extra one of those if you need it. <laughs> cool. All right, so that's another day in Wayne's work vlog, knocking out a uh, friend's turn signal multifunction switch in a Subaru. Uh, if you have any questions, comment them below. I should be able to answer them for you. It's pretty self-explanatory. I also have the repair manual PDF online that I access to check the different sizes of bolts and different tools I would need to do the job. So it was pretty self-explanatory before I even went in. Also, don't forget to go to my video description below the video and you should see a store link and click the store link and that store link will take you to my blog where I've now set up the raffle and all my other purchases so that Big Cartel can't shut me down and so I don't have to pay 30 bucks a month for Shopify keeping you guys' prices low. There's stickers, there's t-shirts, there's the pre-order for the aluminum cup holders if you're interested. And then of course the $20 raffle ticket, when you hit buy it now, it opens a PayPal window. You can use credit card or PayPal. You can also change the quantity to as many tickets as you'd like. And then uh, hit continue and it'll get your info and it'll be saved. As I said before, there's going to be a thousand tickets sold. If all 1,000 do not sell, you'll be refunded your money minus $2 I think it is for a transaction fee through PayPal. Hopefully we can hit the 1,000 tickets sold and then I can mail this bike out to whoever wins it. So be looking forward to that video. I'll have an update about it soon but until then click the raffle ticket purchase in the store and go ahead and get your $20 ticket before Christmas. We should have the drawing on New Year's so be watching for that video around January 10th. I'll post who won and uh, you know once I get in contact with them and have some kind of dialogue with them I'll have that in the video so you guys can see how that goes from there. But if you like the video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe to be instantly notified when I upload a new video, click the subscribe button below. You can also hit the bell next to the subscribe button to change which notifications you get and when. And as always, guys, keep modding.